Dear friends, welcome to the next problem of belt drive, problem 7. The data of the problem is like this. A casting having a mass of 1 ton is suspended freely from a rope. The rope makes 2 tons around a drum of 300 mm diameter rotating at 24 rpm. The other end of the rope is pulled by man. Calculate the force required by the man, power to raise the casting and the power supplied by drum run by a prime mover. Take mu is equal to 0 0.3. Dear friends, let us first Prepare the diagram for given condition. <clears throat> the diagram is like this. Here a drum is given which rotates to raise this casting by a prime mover. The rope makes two round around the drum and another end is pulled by a man. As the casting is raised, so the rope end connected to the casting will be a tight side and as the rope is makes two turns, so the angle of lap will be two circular periphery of the drum and another end is pulled by the man, so it will be a slack side and will having a tension T2 and tight side having the rope tension T1. The data given related to this are that the diameter of the drum is given 300 mm that is 0.3 meter. The drum is rotating at speed n is equal to 24 rpm. The angle of lap S we discussed is theta is equal to 2 into 2 periphery of the drum that is 2 pi will equal to 4 pi. Mass of the casting is 1 ton that is equal to 1000 kilogram. Now power supplied by the prime mover. So it can be written P is equal to Difference of two side tension, tight side tension T1 minus slack side tension T2 into peripheral velocity of the drum V. And here T1 is nothing but the gravitational force acting of the casting. So we can write T1 is equal to m into g. m is the mass of casting and g is the gravitational coefficient. So substituting the values we found T1 is equal to 1000 into 9.81 and on calculation we find it is equal to T1 equal to 9810 Newton. Now, T2 is equal to force applied by a man. We know the relation between two tensions, tight side tension and slack side tension. That is T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta, where mu is coefficient of friction and theta is angle of lap. So, we can rearrange this relation and write T2 is equal to T1 upon E raised to mu theta. Substituting these values of T1, mu and theta and on calculation we found slack side tension T2 is equal to 226.16 Newton. <coughs> now the Peripheral velocity V is given by pi 
d n by 60 where d is diameter in meter and n is rotational speed of drum in rpm substituting this values pi it becomes pi into 0.3 into 24 divided by 60 on calculation we found is equal to 0.377 meter per second now power supplied by the prime mover is given by p is equal to as we have written earlier difference of two tensions tight side tension t1 minus slack side tension t2 into peripheral velocity substituting all these non values t1 is equal to 9810 minus t2 is equal to 226.16 into velocity is equal to 0.377 on calculation we found that power p is equal to 3613 watt is equal to 3.613 kilowatt and power to raise the casting is given by p1 is equal to tension on tight side which is used to raise the casting into velocity of casting and velocity of casting will be equal to the velo peripheral velocity of the drum so substituting this two values t1 that is 9810 into v is equal to 0.377 we found p1 is equal to 3698 watt that is equal to 3.698 kilowatt so now we can write the three answers to the questions one force required by the main t2 is equal to 226.16 newton power to raise the casting p1 is equal to 3.698 kilowatt and third power supplied by drum run by prime mover p is equal to 3.613 kilowatt so this ends the problem thank you very much